This is a 7.3 inch ink display powered by a Raspberry Pi. It's a low power device with an always on display that offers crisp paper like visuals without a distracting glow. It's also completely customizable with a web UI that allows you to update the display from your browser with various plugins. In this video, I'll show you how I built this project and this minimal clock base and how you can build it yourself. In future videos, I'll be adding more plugins, including AI generated images from text prompts or daily newspaper front covers. For this project, we'll be using the 7.3 inch 7 color inky impression by Pi Maroney. In the back, there is a female GPIO header making it easy to plug in the Raspberry Pi. The ink impression also comes with four physical buttons on the side. It's important to note that the 7 color ink impression takes around 30 seconds to refresh due to limitations with ink technology, unlike the black and white displays that refresh in a few seconds. Next, we have the Raspberry Pi 20W, which is a small, low power and affordable option with enough processing power and Wi-Fi capabilities needed for this project. For convenience, I would recommend opting for the version with the pre-soldered headers. And finally, we'll need a micro SD card for the Raspberry Pi and a micro USB cable for power. If you're planning to build this yourself, all of the components here will total around $110. Now let's assemble all the components. We'll start by inserting the micro SD card into the SD card slot of the Raspberry Pi. Next, we'll insert the Raspberry Pi's GPIO headers into the inky board by pressing carefully and evenly on all corners. For the frame, I'm using this picture frame from IKEA, which I'll link in the description below along with all the other components for this project. I personally prefer the wooden aesthetic, but you can also find 3D printable case designs online. I had to custom cut the picture frame's mat to fit the inky display and also cut out a section of the back for the Raspberry Pi. Finally, we'll plug in the micro USB cable into the power port. Now let's get into the software setup. We'll start by flashing the Raspberry Pi OS onto the SD card. For this, I'm using the Pi Imager, which you can download from the Raspberry Pi website. In the Pi Imager, we'll select our device, the latest OS version, and our micro SD card. We'll also need to edit the OS customization settings. Here, I'm going to be updating the host name, which will be used to access the web UI from the browser and the default username and password, which is recommended for security. Next, configure your Wi-Fi credentials and enable the locale settings with your time zone. In the services tab, we'll need to enable SSH with password authentication. Then we can save the settings and wait for it to finish. With the micro SD card image, we can plug it back into the Pi, power it on, and install the IncuPi code. For this, we'll be using the GitHub repo here and follow the installation instructions. You can find the link to the GitHub repo in the description. We'll start by SSHing into the Raspberry Pi from our terminal using the credentials we set up earlier. Next, we'll clone the GitHub repository and navigate into the IncuPi directory. Then we'll run the installation script using the root user. This script enables the I2C and SBI interfaces needed to connect to the Inky board, installs all the dependencies, sets up the configuration needed, and enables the IncuPy service to start automatically on boot. Once the installation is complete, the script will prompt you to reboot your Pi. After the reboot, the Inky display should refresh to show the IncuPy's flash screen. Now the IncuPy is all set up. On your browser, you can navigate to the URL on the splash screen to update your display. From here, we can control the IncuPy and update the display. Currently, there are only two plugins. The first one allows us to upload any image to display.
and the clock plugin has different clock bases we can choose from to display the time. These images are generated on the Pi using the Pillow library. My personal favorite is a gradient clock base, inspired by the one on the Apple Watch. We can also schedule a periodic refresh for a single plugin. In the future, I want to improve this functionality to allow for more advanced scheduling features. If you want to build your own plugins, you'll need to create a new folder under the plugins directory and create a class and inherit from base plugin. Next, you'll need to implement a generate image function that returns an image to display. You'll also need to define an icon to display in the UI and a settings template to configure the plugin. Finally, you can register the plugin in the plugin configuration file and you're all set. All of the code is open source so you can check out the GitHub repo for additional documentation if you want to contribute. Overall, I'm really happy about how this project turned out and looking forward to adding more plugins and features. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on this project, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. You can find the links to the source code in the description, and if you have any suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments.